Okay, so we are here at Mono Lake. In 1951, the lake was all the way up to here. Ain't that something? And look at for those who can't or don't want to walk. I don't. That, there's no way that's going to show up in the video, right? So in 1951, the lake level was all the way up to here. That just gives you some sort of idea just how uh, much water this place has lost over the years. Sorry about the bounciness. I've got a bad knee and I don't have a gimbal. So. try to stabilize everything with my hand as best I can. Now these rocks up here, those are the tufa formations and they're, they're made from the mineral deposits from all the salt and minerals in this lake collected over the years. Sort of like a stalagmite or stalactite. Similar, not exactly, but sort of the same concept built up over thousands of years by mineral deposits. <coughs> Apparently lots of people go off the trail and they've got several of them closed, but you can see people down there just not caring. You know, people. Mono Lake lies on the western edge of a geographical region known as the Great Basin. The basin drains over 500,000 square kilometers, approximately one-fifth of the western United States. Water that settles here never flows to the ocean. Its only escape is evaporation, leaving dissolved salt and other minerals behind from Mono Lake. You could travel east, climbing over mountain range after mountain range. Between mountains, your journey would continue through vast stretches of sagebrush and alkali flats. Yeah, that's for sure. Moving east across Nevada, you'd eventually reach the Great Salt Lake in Utah, a sister to Mono Lake. Great Salt Lake, like Mono Lake, has no inlets and mirrors a similar geography along the western edge of the Rocky Mountains, the eastern boundary of the Great Basin. Both lakes harbor exceptionally productive ecosystems and provide critical migratory bird habitat. Alrighty then. Hey, at least there's a paved trail. My knee's already screaming and I've only walked 50 foot. My knee's bad, it's not always this bad. I think it's because the place I slept last night was at a really weird angle. I'm not exactly sure why or what. All I know is I woke up today and my knee has been killing me. And I've been pushing it all day, going from one place to another. And it's just getting progressively worse. But damn it, I've been up here for five of the last six years. Wasn't gonna come back this year, but this is one of the hell am I seeing? There's no way that it's going to show up on the GoPro. Well, it might. Out here, there's an island. And on that island, there's a huge cloud of smoke or dust forming. I guess it's dust. You can't drive out on that, so I don't know what would kick up that much dust. It almost looks like a dust devil. Mini tornado. I can't tell if it's swirling or not, but it's definitely got that funnel shape to it. Wouldn't that be nice to get hit by a tornado today? That would be awesome. Just get fucking sucked up with a tornado and spun all around. Hell yeah. What's hidden beneath your feet? This may look like a dry spot, but water moves beneath your feet. Surface water sinks through the porous soil until it hits a hard rock layer. Then it runs downhill towards the lake. A spring forms wherever this groundwater emerges. 
tracking a spring. Looking towards the lake, you will see rows of cream-colored rock towers known as tufa. The towers reveal where springs once emerged. That's where the minerals come from. Okay. Remember, all the land you're walking over was once underwater. As the lake level dropped, the tufa towers were exposed, and the springs that formed them dried up. Hmm. This is where the lake level was in 59. And now we got two cameras running. The cell phone and the GoPro. Say hi to each other. Don't be jealous. You've each got a hand. We could also turn on the pivot head camera glasses. Have a camera three-way. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Well, we're almost to the water. An hour later. Well, it's really not that far. so freaking tired by tomorrow I'm not gonna have any energy left to fish saltier than the sea recipe for a lake dip your fingers into the water it feels slippery it doesn't sound fun Put a little on your tongue, that sounds even less fun. It tastes both salty and bitter. You are experiencing minerals washed into the lake by streams and springs. Two key ingredients are sodium chloride, table salt, and sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. These are the other minerals that make Mono Lake 2.5 times saltier than the ocean and 100 times as alkali. Mono Lake's mineral-rich water is much denser than the fresh water, or even the ocean. This means objects float higher than normal. Gulls seem to have difficult time keeping their feet in the water when they paddle. Fully loaded canoes float as if empty. Swimmers find it hard to sink. Although Mono Lake is far too alkaline for fish, its waters are full of other creatures.